Oh, hi students. Um, so uh, this is my South Television, and that is the first panel. So this is panel A uh, underscore one. Uh, it's this one over here. Okay. And um, so it's worked out quite well um, in terms of the elevation and, and all of that. Um, and again, I built this using the techniques in uh, those four videos that I put up for you. Uh, if you want, um, not uh, on the, the last class before uh, the spring break, um, I can build this for you and I'll build it in the class and uh, you can follow along with some of the other panels as well. And I think that's probably a good idea to do that. But I want to show you um, how, this is, how this has worked out. So uh, in, in terms of um, the elevation, I think it's absolutely perfect. Uh, um, everything that I am looking for is there. Okay. Um, in terms of section, here it is here. And uh, so a couple of things. Um, one is there, there's that gasket that I was telling you about. And uh, <clears throat> I show you how to uh, uh, swap out the uh, the mullion, uh, the normal 50 by 150 mullion that we have um, for our curtain wall glazing and to, to put in this one here, uh, which is a sort of 50 mil, um, sorry, is it 50 diameter or something like that? Uh, now maybe it's a little big uh, and we could, uh, actually make that a little bit smaller and whatever so but we'll come back to that um here's my downstand and here's my floor level so you can see that my frame is slightly below the floor level there and again that's probably okay and um, if i wanted to uh, do a little bit of edits on the panel um, i could edit it so that the uh, frame is actually visible here now that's just Again, that's small in terms of, of being able to do edits on that. And uh, up here, um, it, um, the frame is exposed. Um, but uh, I, I, if, if you remember, um, if you were there at Pierce's uh, uh, TDS lectures on, on the fire, um, you'll remember that we need to have 900 of a separation uh, from here into there okay now i currently have 700 uh, so what we talked about is that in order to make up that 900 we need to box out that maybe uh, by another 200 there now um so that might require um that frame to be brought down so we'll have to have a little think about that but also um now that's the that's a section through uh, uh, the glazing there and you can see I've got one glazing panel and uh, again if you if you understand the techniques you can put in two more and you can have triple glazing there so that's that's not a problem to be able to do that um, I'll go back to section one now this is through the solid piece of the panel so perhaps let's take a look at this on uh, the first floor level Okay, so there's the, the glaze part. You, these are the, the solid uh, parts here. So that's where your, um, oh goodness me. What, what did Pierce call it? <laughs> billet, the billet, right? So the billet could go here. That's no problem with that. Uh, and there, or it could go there and there. So Pierce was saying that, you know, to have two billets rather than three is 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 the the preference. Okay, so plenty of room for a billet there and, and a billet here. So that that's going to work out fine. Also, then on these solid parts here, if you go back to that solid section, so we can uh, put in uh, the piece here that allows you to um, connect up and straighten this. Okay, um, so the billet comes in here, sits down there. That's fine um and the uh the piece that allows you to straighten straighten up uh the uh, the, the panel uh, will sit in under here and i'm talking about that's the bit that you might want to cover over now so the only question uh really uh, in my first go at this panel is do i drop that a little bit which means that you're adding on to the profile here or if we uh, box that out there um you know we just get glass it looks like it's kind of um, 
concealed frame, if you know what I mean, from the inside anyway, uh, and looking out. And I think that's fine. So again, that's just a that's a, a technical design decision. Um, is it possible to? Yes, of course, it's possible to um, pick the. Uh, there's the unit. I'm going to edit the family. Okay, and this is it here. All right, if I go into a, a 3D of uh, of that one, that's it there. And what I did was, um, so I built this, and it's a combination of um, extrusions. Um, so in the create button, so I did extrusion and I did sweep, right? Extrusion uh, for the main structure of it, uh, sweep for the frame, extrusion for the glass, okay? And uh, what I did was for each of the materials, um, if I click on the associate family parameter, you can you can see I created uh, a an associate family parameter for the material finish to the panel, to the frame, and to the to the glazing, and that's uh, I'm able to apply those within the project rather than here because there's, there's an extremely poor uh, selection of materials within um, the family editor. Okay, so that's basically how that's looking. Uh, you can get it around the corner here. No, nope. on the back side there, it's uh, it's flat. Okay, and if I take a little section uh, through this, which I've done, uh, that's it there. So that's the profile, more or less, that I, I, of the extrusion. And if I select that, you can see I can actually adjust it here. I'll do this for you now. Uh, what I'll do, oh, I might. Um, just this one. I just pull this one down a little bit. Now what it's doing is it's probably making it a little bit too small. All right, on sense, but uh, and there's the, the the frame. So that's an extrusion. That's a um, sorry. That's a sweep. Okay, escape, escape, and then the uh, this is, is an extrusion. Now unfortunately, it won't let me copy over this way. Uh, uh, probably have to change the the reference plane. Or just make another one and make another one uh, in order to get the, the triple triple glazing in there. All right, so let's load that into the project um, and overwrite the existing version. And continue. And did that make any difference at all? Did I pull it up or pull it back down? I'm not quite sure, but you get the idea. So. These are uh, all editable until you get them right. And then when you get them right, uh, uh, you insert them. <clears throat> and the insertion is as simple as once you've got your, anyway, look, I'll, I'll do a video <laughs> on this. No more than me trying to explain all of this here now. Yeah, but that's just a big curtain wall and uh, with, with grid lines, uh, um, uh, separating uh, the one sheet of glass into many sheets of glass and then I swap out the, the panel the sheet of glass for the uh, uh, for the panel that I've loaded into the project okay and then um, if we go into south elevation that's how it's it's looking there oh it's it's uh, it's lost some of the the properties of the material so I'll just tab this. Here's the panel there, going to the edit type properties and here. So uh, for the frame, I'm going to do um, uh, concrete class cast in situ panel, which is going to be white. Um, for the frame, I'm going to do uh, an aluminium uh, and to site gray, I'm going to make that quite dark gray. And then for the glass, uh, it's just going to be my regular uh, glass material. That's that's it there. And I put a little bit of blue in it. Uh, there's a bit of transparency in it as well. Okay, and that goes in there and apply. Okay, and that's how we, we do. Because these are type properties, they apply to them all there. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is uh, I'm going to build uh, this panel here and I might record uh, the building of that or um, 
uh, as I said, I might leave it till the, the class, not uh, week eight, uh, but week nine, uh, the class before we break up for the spring break. 